taking a simple daytime makeup look and turning it into something more evening appropriate using warm earthy tones and khaki colors. What inspired me to do this look is because I saw a new eyeshadow palette, or at least I think it's new, from Catrice. It's called the Cozy Earth Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. There are some really, really beautiful shades in here. I don't think there's any matte shades in this little palette. They all look either pretty metallic or at least like a satin finish. And they're really, really nice colors. We've got some warm tones and then we have two kind of like khaki color shades. One over here and this one. I'm going to start off with this shade through the crease. Very pigmented. and blending out very, very smoothly. Next, taking that same eyeshadow blending brush, I'm gonna take the pretty much darkest shade in the palette and just place this on the outer corners of the eye. And blend it inwards a bit. Not picking up too much color. Placing it on and Dab by dabbing and dragging it inwards a little bit. Going to intensify it a little bit by taking it on my finger. Also just on the very outer corner. Going to drag this about to the middle of the eyelid, the middle of the mobile eyelid. Using the fluffy brush, using the fluffy brush to blend everything a little bit. And now for the inner corner, also to the middle of the mobile eyelid, we're gonna go in with this pretty, also a khaki color, but it's lighter and more metallic. And we're going to just place that, pat that onto the mobile eyelid with my finger. Ooh, very pretty. Yeah, this one is much lighter and has a nice metallic sheen to it. No glitter, just very, very metallic. Ooh, very pretty. And these shades, or just, I find in general with the Catrice eyeshadows, they just they're so inexpensive and they're absolutely beautiful. Now, because I'm a redhead, when I was growing up, I remember my stepmother always telling me, oh, khakis and blues are like the best colors for you and whatnot. And I remember thinking as a little girl, like we're talking preschool, grade school and stuff like that. I was always thinking like, why would anyone want to wear khaki? It's like for a kid, it was like such a gross color. But now, as I have grown older, khakis, at least for redheads, well not only for redheads, but especially for redheads, are so beautiful. And the weird thing is, they're also beautiful on the face, so as eyeshadow. And even though I have green eyes, I still think that when I wear khaki colors, it just looks really, really good on me. Wow, that's beautiful. Now I'm going to go back in with this shade again in the crease and just blend everything together. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so cool because it's literally only three eyeshadows. I've only used three eyeshadows. It's so simple. I'm just going to clean up this outer edge or this corner a little bit because I went, I took it down a little bit too far and I don't want to make my eyes look droopy. So I'm just going to use what was left from my concealer brush from earlier and just pull it up a little bit. There we are. 
Well, so that would be the eye makeup already taken from daytime appropriate to more evening appropriate. I mean, you can wear this, obviously you can wear this eyeshadow look in the daytime as well, but my thoughts for this video were just a nice, simple and easy way like, oh my God, you just finished work, you got literally 20 minutes to get ready to go out with your gals or your guys or your boyfriend or whatever and you want to throw on a nice eye look that looks like you've put a lot of effort into it and voila, this is what we have. So the blush that I have on is from MAC, it is the shade Melba, it's a nice muted matte earthy tone but I decided to spice this look up for a nice uh, evening out. I'm gonna use the House Labs, now I'm not sure is this actually Oh, it's a powder highlighter, but I'm going to use it as a blush topper because for me this would just be way too orange. So it's from House Labs, it's the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade Fire Opal. I mean, just look at the packaging. It is beautiful. And this is the shade, oh my god, this is such a beautiful shade, but like I said, I don't know who, or maybe very dark skin, skin tones could use this as a highlighter. I sure as heck couldn't, so I'm going to be using it as a blush topper. Just taking it very lightly on my powder brush from before. Yeah, I think if you use this as a blush topper over a over a earthy, more, I don't know, terracotta colored kind of blush, it goes really, really well because it has a, a nice golden sheen to it. I wonder if the, oh yeah, you can see the glow. Mm. It is a little bit more glittery. The glitter is very, very finely mold, but it's a little bit more glittery than I was anticipating, but it still looks really pretty. But if that kind of sheen or glitter is not your thing, then this might not be the highlighter or blush topper for you. Okay, and now to tie things together, we're going to end off with a lipstick. I have two lipsticks here from Lisa Eldridge. And now to tie things together and finish off the look, we're gonna add a lipstick. And I have two lipsticks here from Lisa Eldridge from her True Velvet lip color line. I have the shades Velvet Enchantment and Velvet Rain. Let's look which one is better for this look. So this is Velvet Enchantment. It is a warm reddish terracotta tone. And then we have Velvet Rain, which is also a red tone, but this one has slightly more of a bluish pinkish undertone. I'm not sure if you can see the difference. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can't really tell on camera. The bottom one is the one that has a little bit more pinkish and this one has a little bit more terracotta undertones, although it's not coming off exactly like that on camera. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for Velvet Enchantment, the one that I consider to have a little bit more of a brownish terracotta undertone. These glide onto the lips so smoothly and they literally feel like velvet. It is, they're matte, but they don't drag on your lips like the original MAC lipsticks like Ruby Woo and whatnot. And so this is the finished look. Just a quick turnaround from daytime to more evening appropriate. Like I said before, you can wear this look during the day. I would actually wear this look during the day too, but it is a little bit more intense, so I thought I would make it a daytime to evening look. Let me know what you think of this look and also let me know if you've tried the Catrice the Cozy Earth palette yet and whether you liked it or not. I think it's really beautiful, very inexpensive and easy to work with.